today I'll be talking about the New Deal. Um, Franklin Roosevelt, he comes up with this idea after the Great Depression arises and he is made president. His main idea is no one is going to starve. Um, we need to focus on the people on the bottom. We can't focus about who has the most money because people who have money, they have old money. And most of the country is actually starving. They're unemployed. They have no homes. And he does not want that anymore. And prior to this time, there's this idea of being a lame duck. Everything is going to fix itself. And the Great Depression is really not as bad. That's what Hoover is saying. And Roosevelt comes in. He's like, there's a lot of stuff going on. With the New Deal, there are three main goals. And that's what most people think of when they hear about the New Deal. Recovery, relief, reform. The three R's. Recovery, let's get out of the Depression. Relief, let's make sure people have food and money in their pocket. Reform, how are we going to change the economic system so things are actually better than what they were? We need to have a plan for what's to come. And this is going to last for about 10 years. A lot of what he does is not a quick, quick fix. So when he comes in, there's something known as the Panic of 1933, which is a complete shutdown of the bank. And this is right when Roosevelt takes office in 1932. And all banks are shut down. The next day, they go on this bank holiday, which that is where all banks are shut down. And this is going to allow the government to inspect the banks to see it can it be reopened. Is the bank sufficient enough? Um, can it function on its own? If it can't, it's going to stay, stay closed. And people were so worried about what the bank actually was doing with their money. And once people gained this confidence, like, no, they're going to give us money. Um, if we have no money, if we have no insurance, if we have no anything, they are going to give us loans. And that's kind of what the people needed. They had lost all hope. And this was the first time that FDR is really giving hope to people. And the first thing he does is, it's known as the 100 days. And he's going to pass 15 different bills, which we'll talk about later. I don't, there's not enough time to talk about every single one. But he is going to say the government is in full control. It can't be run by the states. I need to show my power. A little bit like how George Washington was. And he does this as long, uh, in addition to his um, acts, he has fireside chats which are different talks in simple language to people saying, this is what my plan is going to be about. And everyone is listening to it. It's kind of like how we watch the news today. This is their version of the news. And he was very easy to listen to. He was exciting. It's kind of like when you think of TikTok stars, everyone uh, watches their videos. It's very easy to understand. This was the first version of social media. And it's kind of led by this brain trust which are his advisors. He is very active with his people, and he is not sitting back. He and his wife, actually, where they're saying, okay, this is, we're going to go to different parts of the country. We're going to say what we're doing, so everyone is going to know what is happening instead of kind of being blindsided. And there's a series of different acts in terms of insurance, in terms of labor, in terms of getting people jobs, how to get people back in school. And in the next movement, you'll, you'll kind of see that is what is going to happen.